Yes, like the two previous speakers, I'm somewhat disappointed with the, the reply as well. I mean, it, SNAs are professionals and they want to do their job as well as possible. They are willing to undertake this training to improve that. Without SNAs, we know that many students will be excluded from education, so their work is imperative to ensure inclusion. And I would just ask you that you would go back and revisit this as well as an incentive for SNAs to improve um, the, the, the work that they do through this training programme. And as I said, many other professional bodies would not be asked to do work that they wouldn't receive some sort of accreditation for in their employment uh, conditions and pay. Thank you. Yeah, th thank, thank you, you Corla. Um, and I, I, I don't think it, it's a fair assertion to say that the department, uh, or indeed um, I, uh, don't uh, care or, or don't try and treat uh, SNAs well. I mean, this is the very first uh, opportunity for many SNAs to engage with the theory uh, and research-based practice which underlies their role uh, in circumstances where they haven't had the opportunity before. Um, and I accept the fact um, that it is not yet accredited, and it's not to say that it never won't be accredited, but we have to start somewhere. Um, and this is a very, very valuable training. And I think, you know, testament to that is, is the fact that there have been so many applicants for this course. Um, and there, there are, 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 it's a very well um, considered course um, with excellent modules contained within it and will provide a really, really good grounding and training, which, as I said earlier in my original contribution, uh, is what the NCSC has recommended. So the aim um, at, at, in the, at the first port of call is to provide a really good training as opposed to professional qualification. And I think all deputies have to appreciate that you can't go from, from a zero base suddenly to accreditation without actually evaluating the outcomes of particular courses. So as I said, again, in my origin, original contribution, the outcome uh, of the course itself will be evaluated uh, and will inform the approach uh, that is taken into the future. Um, since 2011, uh, we, we have 70% uh, uh, more SNAs now. We have nearly 18,000 than we had. We had 10,500. 10, and I certainly, as the very first uh, dedicated Minister for Special Education, have uh, at all times tried to look after our SNAs. If you're talking about PPE uh, or you're talking about their care, uh, we have written to the Department of Health in terms of trying to see if we can get them up in the vac vaccination schedule. So we're doing everything we can to support them. And I do think that this is just a stepping stone for them um, and it'll, it'll result in much, much better uh, training again in the future. Come on, good. Thank you.